Hi, JP Forney of The Movie Jerks here, coming to you on day nine of 31 Days of Horror, the month where I watch a horror film I've never seen every day for the full month leading up to Halloween. And so what do we get for day nine? Well, yesterday we had The Creeps, and today we're getting Necromancer. Hmm, okay. When simple revenge is not enough, Julie, a college student, is sexually assaulted uh, by two fellow students. Desperate for revenge, she makes contact with a necromancer who begins using her demonic powers to get rid of any guy Julie hates. Okay, well, day nine, I'm watching Necromancer. Necromancer was filmed and released back in 1988. And I had to remind myself throughout this film that ChatGPT and other script writing AI programs didn't exist yet. There is a good concept at the core. A lady who is assaulted by two of her classmates cannot go to the police because she's being blackmailed by those two creeps who intend to go to the police to inform them about her having a relationship with her fellow teacher, who she still has feelings for. And this could possibly ruin his professional career, as well as hurt the feelings of her current boyfriend. Their motives here, while very upsetting, do make somewhat sense. However, the rest of the film appears that it has been written by aliens. After her assault, she tells her friend, and the very next day, the two of them head out to a necromancer and seem to be having a sweet old time laughing at the expense of this lady who they think is just a circus gimmick. Is this what you really want? If it is, say yes three times. Yes. 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 So be it then. The topic is revenge because of being sexually assaulted. Yet, they treat it like she's just recovered from a pie in the face. <laughs> o oh, spirit of the unholy the one, one, we call upon thee now, we disturb thy kingdom. <laughs> I want to meet the demon of vengeance. Yes, I know it's 80s exploitation film, but come on. Give the subject matter a, just a little bit more respect. I mean, it's really disgusting. Even the kills in this horror film are unimpressive and disappointing. Each one consists of our demon taking the image of our lead, getting close to their victim, looking over their shoulder and revealing their green eyes, then killing them in ridiculous fashions. Like this one, where I think the demon just turned the man into liquid and clogged the water pipes. At least the demon reveal has got to be something interesting, right? Nope. We get to see the hands of the demon quite often, which looks like someone likes cherry jello a little too much. And when we see the demon's face, Cartoon eyes. Even Who Framed Roger Rabbit was scarier than this weird choice. Elizabeth Kaitan is the highlight here. Sure, the focus in this film is her nude scenes. However, she does offer a pretty good performance. Even if the script does feel like it's been written in one day. Uh, did I just miss something? <laughs> And there you go, day nine of 31 days of horror. This time I watched Necromancer. What other horror films feel undercooked? Let us know in the comments section. And if you're curious about other films I'm watching this month, be sure to hit the subscribe button below for updates daily. And for more information about The Movie Jerks, you can go to www.themoviejerks.ca.